So, I guess I still need to. Let's talk to this guy. To G. I decided your name is G. Unless you tell me. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care? No, mm. she was in long term. 25 That's years. a whole different floor. Oh. This is the floor for temp patients. Oh. I see. Why is he here then? Like the doctor? Or is he like the only doctor in the whole thing? I. Hmm, that seems weird though. So what exactly happens here on the temporary ward? It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you for answering my question that I didn't actually ask you. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's try again to go into the... Maybe now if I go to the park, the Nishanti will have stopped. Like, will have finished their performance. Well, she's slow. No, she's still going. What do I need to do then? Okay, I don't even have the um, the letter then. then no. That's Nishanti Sharma, my next door neighbor. Apparently, she's playing some sort of flute. All right, here I go. Oh, okay. Um, I just need to try again. Um, uh, no. No. Okay. okay. That didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. So, should we try again? Okay, you can do this. Right. Um... Crap! Calm down. Need to calm down. Okay, need to calm down. So maybe I need something to calm myself down. But I don't... Right. Know. This is it. Hi. Um... Can I... Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. This is such a mood. I mean, not like that. I'm not that bad. But almost. <laughs> no. I can't do this. I just can't. I'll just have to wait until she's finished. Or, I don't know. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. Okay, so there's two things. Either I need something to cool myself down, or I don't know, maybe something to get drunk. Um, or I, I, I make her stop, because like, she's going on forever. Isn't she out of breath yet? Anyway, let's go. Roses apart. I mean, those are the th only things I can go... I can miss it right now, so... The windows look into the lobby of the building. Mm-hmm. Can I go over there? Is there something over there? No. Okay. Teenager. I've never seen this kid before in my life. Yeah, he hasn't seen you. Hello again. I mean, I, I haven't tried that, so... Out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you going to stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 programmed in. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you I mean, serious? Let them. Totally serious. I don't believe this. Honestly, I will still do it. If he calls 911 and the cops arrive, what are they going to do? This is my apartment. I just want to get into the, my apartment. If anything, I should be calling 911. And say that this guy isn't letting me into my apartment that I am paying for. <laughs> like, what? Uh... I'll be back. See you around. 
Like that threat didn't work at all. I mean it did for her for some reason, but it shouldn't have. So what the hell do we need to do? Ah, oh, Ishanti, what? I mean, there is only, there is only that dog, and this is a dog park. But she doesn't want to do anything with the dog, so what? And I don't have any. I'm not untying the dog's leash. The dog's leash is. Ah, uh, so I'm not untying the dog's leash, but what do I do with this dog? I don't think so. He's wearing one of those extensions. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Marty. Okay, there I'm we go. Coming. There, all better. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you. The lady next door. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Rhonda, isn't it? No, Rosangela. Well, of course, considering I didn't know you. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. Oh, Shrek no, no. Up. No trouble. Now, don't go defending him. You'll just spoil him. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um, yes. I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Okay. Well, she's nice. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rosangela. She lives here. She does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. <sighs> Well, now you're sure. And you must be so proud of yourself. Well... Never mind. Just get out of my way. It's, it's just... Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors, after all. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Looks like somebody's hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Ah, uh, try to make a joke, oh, yes. Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes, um, their names are me, myself, and I. <laughs> um, it's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rosangela, I'm sure. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rosangela's kind of a mouthful, you know. All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. Okay, so... We're finally in. Home. Thank God. I've never been so oh, happy this is a nice one. square foot room in my life. 
So that kid, trust, trust. I mean, sure, she she is Nishanti lives here. So if Nishanti says that I live here, then I guess. But uh, oh, I don't. Bah. I'm not ready for bed. Oh, sure, <sighs> do some writing. I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel up to it. But today, oh, say. It's just not happening. Mood. Griff is fine where he is. Oh, Griff. That's a nice name. Fine where they are. Yeah, I want to see just what some they old are. Book review clippings. Okay. Um, telephone. I don't have anybody I have to, call. to call. Yep. Just a trash can filled with crumpled up novel ideas. I don't need to take the trash out. It's not even full. Okay. Oh, I'm. I didn't even see that. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Let's read it. Dear Lord, so you have been at NYU for two weeks now and have not called. I am sure things are busy in the Big Apple, but don't forget the family you left behind. Things back home are well. Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous. You know how he gets. Be sure to write him a letter. He misses his big sister. Oh, big sister. I Okay, that's Jack though. So we have an Uncle Jack? That's not even Joey. I admit I am still a bit nervous about you living in New York all by yourself. You are carrying ID with you when you go out like I asked. <laughs> of course, over. Um, this is 1960 though, so um, a few years ago, just a couple, because this is 2006. Um, unless it's not. <laughs> it should be. Like, the game came out in 2006, so I'm assuming it is also... Ah, whatever. You know me, just being a mum, somebody has to keep your head on straight, kid, as your dad will say. I remember that you have a family back home that misses you. Love you, mum and dad and Jack. Hello, sis. I am writing this on my new Sinclair Model XB. Mom says that improving my handwriting is a lost cause, so she got me this. Keen, huh? I've uh, already typed up a few stories on it. Oh, okay. So that is how you... Um, like, if you made a mistake, I guess you go back on the typing machine and you put XXX on it. That's nice. I, I mean, I didn't know that, but I'm assuming. Uh, can't type for long because that says the noise drives him up to the, the freaking wall. What does he know? So how is life in the big bad city? Troy is that boring as usual. Why do you have to go to college, huh? There's nobody to talk to in this dump anymore. See you at Thanksgiving. Okay, so is Troy their own town maybe? This is October, whereas this was September. December, okay. Dear Lauren, well, Thanksgiving time has come and gone, and so have you. It's just two, star, two short months, and I can already see you evolving into a capable, capable young woman. You have outgrown this small town, Lauren. That much is obvious. Jack will be following in your footsteps soon, I'm sure. Visiting you in New York is all he talks about. Speaking of Jack, I know you are worried about him. We all are. But don't feel that he is... Uh, that is your responsibility. You are his sister and you love him, but is, uh, he has got to learn to live without you eventually. You are growing up. Let him grow up too. Dear Christmas, love. Mum and Dad and Jack. Lauren, can you keep a secret? I don't want to say this over the phone in case Mum or Dad over here. Uh, I wonder if these... Like, okay, this is something that was mistaken, you know? But I wonder if there is any significance. 
Let's see. Because, okay, no, I was gonna say, because I thought that dad was another mistake in the other letter as well. So, maybe he was writing something else instead of that. But, no, that's fine. Uh, Mom's been acting odd lately. It started a few days. Ago. Oh, this is the dimension. Oh, wait, this is 25 letters, I just realized. Oh, well, this is a lot of reading. Prepare for it. Mom's been acting odd lately. It started a few days after you went back to New York. She was dragging me shopping when she suddenly screamed and fainted. She was pointing at the corner of the room, but there was nothing there. We brought her to the hospital and she says she's fine now, but she's been very on edge and paranoid. It's hard to explain. That's no help. Can you call and try to cheer her up? She won't listen to me. Just don't tell her about this letter. I just hope she's okay. Jacob. So, okay, so what I'm assuming, her mom was pointing in the corner and screaming, but there was nothing there. So, this is not a sickness, an illness that is being, you know, it, that is hereditary, I guess. This is more like. Um, from I don't know if it's before the grandmother as well, but grandmother then uh, then Aunt Lauren, they were all able to see ghosts. I'm assuming that because there is a ghost in uh, in on the cover of the whole game, so it must be about ghosts and you know pointing and screaming. But nothing was there. It must be ghosts. This is November, uh, this was September, okay. November, you seemed concerned after our last phone call. I just wanted to write and reassure you that everything is F-I-N-E-E. -E. Let us know when you are coming home again for Thanksgiving with love, mum and other Jack. Dear sis, mum's getting worse. You said it best during Thanksgiving. It's like somebody's watching over your shoulder. Ooh, I wonder who. It's Joy. Paranoia, I mean, no, wait, Joy, like, Lauren kept saying Joy, I don't know if it's the same ghost, over and over, um, over generations, I don't know. She sits by herself for hours, pretending to read when it's obvious she isn't, likely she's been covering her ears as if to keep out a sound, and closing her eyes tight. That's losing patience with her. Is convinced she's lost her mind and I'm starting to agree. She refuses to get any kind of help. Why can't she see that there is a problem? This isn't normal. Not normal at all. Why can't she see that? I had to admit it, but I'm kind of scared. Scared for her. I don't know what to do. Lauren, it has a name. Mum locked herself in the bathroom this morning. Yep, there we go. She sounded like she was talking to herself in there. Well, not to herself. It was like there was somebody else in there. But I wasn't. I listened, I couldn't understand it, but she did say the name Joy. This is February. I asked her later who Joy was, and she got really scared. Then she got angry and said, if you know what's good for you, never mention that name again. This could be the key. If we find out who Joy is, maybe we can save her. This is March, okay. Well, it's done. The final papers have been signed. It hurt a lot. But it had to be done. Mama is now being committed to a mental board. Wait. I have to say I am relieved. I know how you feel about it. But you weren't there. You didn't see you didn't come to see her screaming and tearing her hair out, running around the house, knocking down everything in her way. Cats were all over her face and the house was practically destroyed. I was so shocked, I just closed the door and waited outside for Dad to come home. It was awful. She clawed at him, clawed at his face, and drew blood. What? It will haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. Thanks for coming out, Lauren. I don't think Dad and I could have handled it on our own. She kind of drained us, you know? Can I come to New York and visit? Uh, I need to get away for a while. Okay, so I was 
um, I was doing some wrong math actually because I was saying wait how is it that uh, you know Rosa went to the thing if in 62 she was committed but I was thinking like this is to Lauren so um, it's her mother that was committed in 62 and I think the doctor said after 20 years Lauren was committed so in uh, 82 maybe Lauren was committed and then 25 years later uh, that is uh, bad at math um, Two thousand and seven. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Cause this is two thousand and six, two thousand and seven, almost twenty five years. So yeah, that work that checks out. Uh, okay. Uh, so, congratulations, summa cum laude. Nice. I always knew you were smarty pants. Now you've got the doc documentation to prove it. Wait, uh, but didn't you go there to celebrate? Okay, whatever. Thanks again for letting me stay at your place for the weekend. It was just like old times. Except you weren't smoking then. New York is an amazing city and Columbia is a great campus, so you did go there. I can't wait to move down there in September. But until then, I've got to deal with our grumpy old man. He's insufferable as always, ever since mom he's been out to talk to. And very hard on me. I shall tell him you're smoking now. Maybe then he'll concentrate on you for once. Oh, that is such a brother move. See you again soon, Jack. It's happened, Lauren. Just like you eventually said it would. I'm in love. Her name is Maria. She's from Italy and we met in statics statistics class. She asked if she could copy my notes because it, her hand was tired. We end up, ended up having lunch and we've been inseparable ever since. She's incredible. She's got the most amazing red hair and I want you to meet her. I'll come by soon, Jack. So, oh, wait, so, I mean, if she had red hair, uh, then Jack is our father, and Aunt Lauren is our aunt, because it's, okay, that makes sense, but I thought, like, she didn't even mention him, so when she said something like, my mother and my aunt, I don't remember, I thought that Aunt Lauren was my mother's sister, but no, I guess Jack is my father, Rosa's father. Lauren, are you alright? Ever since mom's funeral, you've been hard to reach. I know it's been hard on us, but it's been six months. I tried calling, but you never answered. I came by the, I came by the other day, but you didn't open. I knew you were there, Lauren. I couldn't hear you. I risked using the spare key you gave me, but you changed the look. Came come for dinner on Christmas Eve. Maria is a great cook. We won't ask any questions. Just come. Mum might be gone, but we're still here. I miss my big sister. Oh, Lauren, who is Joy? I went over last week to give you a Christmas gift. You didn't answer the door, but I heard you talking to somebody named Joy. Okay, is it a boyfriend? Are you seeing a man named Joy? Is that why you've dropped off the map? Or is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what. For God's sake, talk to me. Wait, what do you mean? I don't think... Oh, I don't think I need to... Yeah, well, it's Joy. Of course, it's the same Joy. So, yeah, talk to me. Oh, poor Jack. I'm, Lauren, I know you're annoyed, but I am not sorry. I didn't want to do it. But you left me to... No choice. Hiring a private detective to follow you was... Was the only option left. He told me some odd things. You won't talk to me, but you'll talk to total strangers. You'll go to every far corner of the city at the strangest hours, and you talk to yourself when you think you're alone. Don't deny it. He heard it, and so did I. Not that any of it makes any sense. That alone is disturbing. Enough. But then he saw you collapse. You were all alone in some obscure park in the Bronx, when you just fainted. He was about to call an ambulance. But then he saw you get up again and walk off like nothing happened. You were always there for me growing up. Don't shut me out, sis. Let me be there for you. Oh, this is Lauren. Okay. So why do I have it if it's Lawrence? 
Jacko, please stay away. Don't worry about me. There are things that need to be done, and I am the only one who can do them. Don't ask me to explain. All I can say is that I understand our mother more than ever. She was never a crazy Jacko. Trust me on this, and take some comfort in it. You've grown up, and you've grown tough, and you don't need anyone to fight your battles anymore. You don't need me, but I'll always be your big sister, Lauren. Oh. I am returning your letter because I refuse to accept it. No, you don't need to fight my battles. I'm not 14 years old anymore, but we are still family, and that's important, especially now that Dad has died. Look, you obviously have something going on, and that's fine. I don't have to be involved if you don't want me to, but I still want you involved in my life. Maria and I are getting married in November. You are coming. No stupid excuses. So that was April. Ah, uh, wait. In November, okay. And this is November. Greetings from Greece. If there were any words to describe the beauty of this place, it still wouldn't do it justice. A perfect spot for a honeymoon. Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to qu quickly write to say that I'm glad we made the wedding. Of course, I'm still worried about you, but somebody has to be. You take care and stay in touch. Maria says I. There are some pictures stuck to the oh. back of this letter. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Dear Aunt Lauren, yes, Aunt Lauren, you're an aunt. My, I'm a dad. Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We named her Rosangela. So do. After Maria's grandmother, she's so quiet. She hardly cries at all. I'm all set to spoil her to rotten, but Maria says to take it easy. She looks just like her mother, and there is a bit of you in her eyes too. And mom and dad, everything our family was or will be, this child is it. Life is changing so fast. I just want to hold on to this tiny creature and never let go. The future is an exciting, exciting place, and I have everything I could ever want. I don't want anything to change, ever. Oh, that is so cute. Wait, there are some pic- I guess we have pictures as well, later. Dear Mrs. Blackwell, it is indeed within your legal rights to take custody of your five-year-old niece. With the death of her parents, you are the only living relative. Please contact our office. We will start the necessary paperwork. Sincerely, John Durkin. Wait, that is 81. And then in 82 she was committed, I... If my mouth serves me right, oh, telephone. Ah, no, wait, no. Wedding photo. Oh. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Oh, what? Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. I love that if you go to the cake, it still says father. Yes, your father is a cake. That's Auntie Lauren. Definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like there's definitely going to be joy here or here. I don't know somewhere, but yes, definitely. Christmas photograph. The telephone can wait. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, is that Auntie Lauren, uh, Jack, and then that is Grandma? And she was also looking up Joy, maybe. She does seem preoccupied, but I don't know if she's looking at Jack or maybe Joy over here, which I guess it will be. Okay, put it away. This is so interesting. Okay, let's answer this telephone. Uh -huh. Hello? Liz Angelina, hi. Hi, what? Bob. Oh, oh. Thanks so much for submitting Ooh. your last review on time. For once. Okay. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. That's awful, but... You know the Brittany house? The NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girls. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. 
Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Okay, now I can get notes in. But what the hell? <laughs> Imagine asking a reviewer to do some news researching or whatever. Uh, anyway, notes. Sanjala will write down various clues during our adventure to get build the musk. Okay, so John and my you student. Yeah. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. Okay, I see how this works. That makes no sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Wait, the, it, so he wants a photograph of Joanne who killed herself. What does she want exactly? Does she want a photo of the body?